Good morning, friends. We are here on the north side of St. Louis. It is a absolutely beautiful day. I'm so happy to get out here and not be hot as heck uh, here thrifting and searching for game finds and all that good stuff. But we are actually back at uh, the Lutheran resale shop that we bought our pair of Jordans from, our first pair of Jordans that we were gonna restore and we had all this idea for and we actually just ended up selling them like the same day. But regardless, we got cash today, so that's good. Let's get in here, see what we can find for some resale and some game finds. few wheelchairs. They always have a really decent collection of VHS. Always on the lookout for stuff. Ooh, frailty. What do you think on this side? Three hours? Yeah. Might take that. They well, definitely have some older stuff down here, too. Um, never heard of that, but. This uh, Casablanca has me interested just because it's like the older CBS Fox. Interesting. I'm gonna pass for now, I think. Oh, this boy's in the head, though. It's uh, a box office hit, so I'm not really keen to that, but pretty cool. Okay, so no pairs of Jordans today, it looks like. Uh, I've got some Nike still, though. Nothing I don't think we want to mess with. But I hope that uh, somebody from the channel came by and picked up the other ones that were here. I was really curious if they would still be here or not. I figured they wouldn't. I was just chatting with one of the volunteers here and just saying how there's just so much to take in here. There is a lot. There's a lot of layers to peel back here. So, <laughs> yeah. This is my second time here and I'm still finding stuff that I didn't see before. Oh, Sticks is pretty iconic. I think we might take a... And at that, Sticks, the greatest American rock band. If you guys get the reference, let me know. They do have one game hiding in here, Jam Pack. I think we might pass on it though, depending on the price. We'll see. Oh, they have a Sims too. The nightclub one. So, in this little portion of this case here, they do have some games, and I did look in here before the last time I was here, but they didn't have this, and uh, it's Quest for Camelot on Game Boy, and they want two bucks for it. We're definitely going to grab this, but uh, yeah, there's some other stuff kind of just thrown in here. Um, I don't know, though, guys. It's going to I don't like anything to too crazy. Just some lot of Sims call. stuff on PC. There's a couple uh, PS2 it, it, games you know, back here. Nice and I don't know if we're gonna. I don't know if we're gonna get any of this stuff, but. Yeah. Rock band. Well, what's the point yeah, so, some of that other well, stuff was there before, exactly. but I definitely think the Game Boy game is pretty awesome. Yeah. 
this uh this copy of socom 3 is actually really clean it's complete so i think we're going to grab this too assuming that they're pricing it at a dollar for a dvd as well i think it's worth the grab i'm still thinking about this jam pack game over here but i think i think we're going to pass on that one it's that one right there i think we might pass yeah, looking at price charting, it's only a $5 complete game, so I think we're going to pass. I mean, even if SOCOM is a $5 game, I just kind of like the SOCOM series, so we'll, uh, we'll snag that for sure. There's your change. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. You have a good day. You too. Yeah. All right, guys, $3.60 later, I think we did okay. On to the next one. So there's actually a couple more that are literally just down the street and we didn't go to those last time because we were really set on going to the St. Vincent de Paul bins, which we're actually going to do today as well. So uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to go literally just down the street. There's like two that are almost right next to each other and assuming that those are cash only, but we still have some cash left over. We're good to go. Let's keep doing, doing, going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Parked right behind a hearse. Don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but this is where we're going. It's called This, That, and The Other Resale. Got the big old girl chilling. This is awesome. A ton of furniture. A ton of furniture. I see some Wii stuff. Might have to check out that stack. A lot of DVDs. Is it okay if I check out this uh, stack of Wii games right here? Friday. Oh, there's even more. Okay. <laughs> yes. Quite a stack. How much are the games? You know what they're going for? Uh, five, bucks. five bucks. All right, I'm good on those. Thank you. Yeah, five bucks. I'm kind of like, eh, not feeling great about it. But I'm kind of just take a little look through some drum stuff. Miles, if you're watching, some drum stuff for you. Just a lot of, a lot of furniture. A couple bikes. Some more drum stuff. I wish I knew stuff about drum stuff. I don't know anything, guys. Educate me, please. Well, if I was into furniture or percussion instruments, uh, I think that place would have been a lot cooler. But unfortunately, I am not into either. I'm also trying not to get ran over while filming in the middle of a busy street. So smart. But anyway, the other place is like just down there. It's like on the corner. You guys can't really see it from here, but we'll be there in a second. All right, this is called the Good Store Thrift. Let's go, baby. Only reason I just pulled away there is they said mask required and they actually required a mask at the uh, other place as well. So, gotta go grab my mask now. Right off the bat, I just saw some like really cool shoes. Um, these Jordans are cool. Those Nikes are cool as well. I have no idea what the resale value is of those, so I don't know. <laughs> 
just like an overwhelming amount of clothing just packed in right here. Some more shoes up there. Unfortunately, not a pair. But hey, if you uh, if you had the other one and needed it, you got it. Okay, we're like in the back area. This is definitely more my speed now. <laughs> There's a lot of clothes up front. A ton. So let's see if we can find some some good VHS. Not seeing anything that's jumping out at me, but you know, if we can get anything sci-fi or horror related. We like to see it. This is driving me nuts because, like, I want to open every one of these cases. I'm sure they're just DVDs, though. At least that's what I'm telling myself. This complete uh, collection of X Files is actually quite impressive. Kind of want to buy all of them. Yeah, kind of want to buy all of those. We we might, depending on the price. Yo, Daria. I haven't seen that in a long time. The Simpsons Christmas. Interesting, interesting. There's a lot to take in here. A lot. A lot of CDs to kind of look through. I feel like these are all just like loose DVDs. More VHS, more VHS under there. Wow, a lot. A lot, a lot. And they've got like more like GM stuff back here. Uh, some board games I should probably take a look at, but we're kind of moving away. We did sell one board game at the booth the other day, and I was like, heck yeah. So excited. A lot of electronic stuff. Wow. A lot. I know what that is. You can spot the connector from a mile away at this point. But again, we need these, and I know what that is too. Though. Oh, don't do me dirty. Come on. Okay, guys. <laughs> Power brick and video cables required for another we because we need these desperately we really do we have so many i'm gonna kind of keep digging and see what else i can come up with there's another battery bank i think so i think we're gonna take we're gonna take that too they had a couple different uh rf adapters for playstation they had one there they had one somewhere tangled up in here but we already have one so I don't think we're going to take it sorry for my knee popping guys it's very loud I'm just kind of looking for random video game connectors though because we can always use them at three bucks it's not bad ooh ooh okay we're mainly looking for Sony stuff, but I mean there are nope, that doesn't have the battery cover. Sony stuff with the battery cover would be good. I don't think we're gonna be that lucky today. Yeah. like a lot of common remotes it's very unfortunate so I think we're gonna pass on those but we got two bar bricks and a video cable for a week I'm happy nine bucks okay all right there is a game section we're gonna I can't tell you and a Genesis classic um, I don't know we might get them, we might not. Let's see what the prices are. 
Okay guys, so definitely nothing insane in there uh, for sure, but I think the uh, the grabs that we got were pretty solid. Um, we also picked up Wheel of Fortune because uh, Zesty, Zesty happens to like Wheel of Fortune a lot. And I mean, I, it's hard for me to just leave a regular Nintendo game behind, especially only for three bucks. Like, I'll take it, three bucks all day. So uh, we're gonna shoot down to the St. Vincent de Paul bins. We're done with our little stretch of, uh, of thrift stores right here. So we're gonna head on down there and see uh, see what we can pay for by the pound. And they're a lot cheaper than uh, Goodwill, which is what I love. So let's get after it. Also, if you guys were wondering, everything in here was $12.99 after tax. So we've spent roughly 17 bucks a day and I feel like even if we just sold everything for retail, um, we could easily make that back in like the in the Wii stuff. So feeling good. Well, it's currently noon and I wanted to get here sooner, but uh, we just got caught up with a with a really pleasant conversation with the, the lady at the first thrift store at the Lutherans at the Lutheran spot. So if you're watching, thanks for the good combo. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit up this uh, St. Vincent de Paul bins. And like I said, they are vastly cheaper than uh, than Goodwill. So I'm excited. We we spent like two dollars and fifty cents the last time we were here, and got just in CD trade alone, we got the ten bucks. So I mean, hey, it's not huge money, but still money. Not on top of the sporting goods stuff that we also found as well, traded in. So, all right, let's get in here. I'm gonna grab my gloves. Actually, can't forget those. So the last time we were here, we definitely found a ton of CDs that were worth taking. And yet again, in their glass section, there seems to be some good stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, doesn't have a year on it, but I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about that. So, uh, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. Some Thomas stuff over there. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. A lot of Thomas stuff. Wow. Okay. We're going to have to go to that other side and check it out. Honestly, it just seems to be a bunch of, like, classical. There's a bunch of Beethoven and stuff in here, um, which I don't think hold any value. Tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, maybe there's, like, a symphony composer that, like, I don't know about that maybe it holds some value. But I don't think so. I mean, I'm just curious about this but i don't i don't know let's just let's just see let's have a look oh actually these are little uh welch's joints um i think these do carry some value i think we're gonna cop these actually i think zesty would be mad if we didn't grab these yeah because is it a full set no this one's the same That one's the same, but okay, maybe we'll take the pair. Oh, I'm always so nervous rummaging around these uh, glass bins. But yeah, let's. I'm gonna take a look at this CD just out of curiosity. Okay, so the worst thing you want to see when you search for something on eBay and then you go to filter sold is that. <laughs> so um, there is this Beethoven little. Paul Lewis thing? I don't know. This thing actually just kind of caught my eye as something that might be of value. If I can get my phone to cooperate, we can search this on eBay via barcode. Okay, there we go. Okay. Maybe the... Okay, okay. There's a 12 and a 19. First two. Not bad. Okay, two have sold. One sold new though, and one sold pre-owned from the UK. So we're gonna pass on that. So I was really hoping to find some sporting goods stuff today because it's so cheap by the pound here. 
Um, and this hockey stick actually looks to be in pretty good condition. It's actually not worn down at all. Oh no, I didn't see that. That is a rest in peace. Dang, if it didn't have that crack in there, we'd 100% take that and probably get some good bucks for it. But okay, back you go. Back you go. Nerf stuff. Hmm, it does does work. Uh, let's think about this. Just because it's so cheap. That racket was a two piece. That's why we're not taking that. Okay, so I'm not a golf club expert, but um, these two clubs are both graphite shaft and they have solid grips on them and they're not they're not big names i i don't believe this is a mcgregor and this one's golden bear but i think even still because of their pretty solid condition we could get a couple bucks off those maybe just the driver i don't know we're gonna we're gonna ebay the the iron and see because i feel like the driver itself would be a little bit more valuable so and it's in actually a little bit better shape but it looks older, so I don't know. We're going to eBay and see. So I think these are a cheaper set called Max Fly. And they've got it all rubber banded up. And the condition is actually really good. They're juniors clubs, though. Um, I mean, again, because the poundage is so cheap here, I might just shoot my shot and go for it. Let's see what happens. I think we're going to see what the poundage is, and then if the poundage is too much, we'll just get rid of this entire set. Fairly certain I had these exact roller blades as my very first pair when I was growing up. These are a throwback. Oh my god, loving it. Man, this place just keeps producing golf clubs. There's a full set right here. Ugh, okay. And there's another set right here. Those look older, but these maybe. <sighs> All right, we're gonna dig this out. Right off the bat, okay, this obnoxiously huge driver is coming with us as long as the grip is good. Yeah, the grip looks good on that. Yeah, yeah, this will definitely, this will definitely come with us. Usually the obnoxious drivers do good. Um, this driver though, and these irons can probably stay. Uh, I might look that one up, just because it has like a special coating on it. And that grip looks a little newer, but the shaft doesn't look very new. Um, hmm, I'm going back and forth on that one, honestly. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll do the due diligence and look that one up. We'll see. Okay, but the rest of this stuff is pretty much no good. I mean, these tailor-made oversized, maybe? Yeah, let's see, let's see what these... Um, the grips are nice on them. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna look these up and see. Okay, so this exact set did sell for 145 So I think we're gonna grab... We're gonna grab that for sure. Um, it's not exactly eight, it's one, two, three, four, five of the set. So, I'm a oh, six actually, because we have one in there as well. Um, or no, yeah. Yeah, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. But still, I mean, I think I think it's worth to uh, to get out of here and and trade it in. So, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, there's a putter in there too. We can check out what that is. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is actually swap out those Max Flies for this iron set instead of those, because I think these carry more value because they're tailor-made and they're just a better made name in golf, so. Okay, I guess it's just gonna be a sporting good equipment day. <laughs> um, this, uh, this actually had a tag on it for 40 bucks. Obviously that doesn't mean a lot, but it is in fairly good condition. It's got the strap right there. It's just tucked up underneath. But yeah, I mean, it'll just need a slight bit of cleaning and uh, this will be this will be a good trade-in, I think. So yeah, definitely, definitely good on that one, I feel like. 
And yeah, so we got, we, we kind of deduced it to the two drivers, the tailor made almost complete iron set, and then the, uh, the Welch's jelly jars and a little, uh, little McDonald's, uh, or not McDonald's, sorry, Sesame Street cup. Uh, didn't have any markings on it, but I still think it'll be good for, you know, a couple bucks in the booth. Okay guys, like I said, this place is so, so cheap. Uh, $4.41 for everything in here. I mean, these clubs, they don't weigh up. I mean, they're not light. They're not light by any means. Um, so we had nine pounds of stuff. I mean, so at the regular bins, that would have been, you know, uh, around $11, $11 if we were at the regular Goodwill bins. Uh, but yeah, like I said, 441, I am super happy because I think even just this alone will cover the uh, five dollar cost uh, in cash value when we take our sports hall. We I think this is gonna complete our sports hall for right now because we have some other stuff uh, that we're gonna we're gonna mess with as well. Uh, I, I don't like to uh, I don't like to nickel and dime when I go down to the sports uh, place just because it's a little farther away from my house. Actually, all of the locations are pretty far away from my house uh, that that I go to. It's a local St. Louis chain, but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go in uh, to the one on the south side of town. They actually give cash instead of check because the last time we traded in sporting and stuff, they gave us a check, and I was like, man, I can't spend this the same day. And I guess I could have gone and cashed the check, but again, that's an extra step. Uh, in the whole process. I just wanted cold hard cash, especially because the uh, the south location is right by our favorite game store, Trading Games. So I like taking the cash from our sporting stuff and just going right over there and spending it. That's always fun. So uh, really good day though at St. Vincent. I mean, as far as resale, we didn't find any games or any game related stuff, unfortunately. But uh, you know, sometimes you gotta sell some clubs, you know, to get some video games. And uh, we'll do that every day, every day. So uh, thanks for hanging out today, guys. It was a pleasure. Hope you guys have a beautiful week, and we'll see you later. Also, really quick before the episode ends, please go check out the giveaway video. We finally hit 500 subs. We are officially giving away a Nintendo Wii. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on that video. Go check it out. It was posted on Tuesday. Uh, you, you guys will see it here. You know, you, you guys have already seen a couple episodes since uh, since that posted. So go check it out. Go check it out.